Hey YouTubers, Peter here with Unison, and today we're going to be recreating a bass patch from Vinny Vici's remix of Highlight Tribe's Free Tibet. Here's the track. All right, so I'm just gonna loop this section where the bass drops out and I'm gonna throw our bass in so you can hear it in context. So for the first few notes here, this will be the original reference bass. And in this section here, you'll be hearing our bass underneath the track. And let's go back to the beginning and compare these where it's a little easier to hear the difference. All right, so I'm composing this sound out of two different patches, this main patch here and also a secondary patch that I'm using to add a little extra width and brighten up the sound a bit. For those of you who just want the sounds, you can find a link to both of these patches in the description below. And for those of you who want to follow along and recreate this patch from scratch with me, let's dive right in. So before we open up a preset, let's just check out our MIDI really quick. It's just a rolling triplet pattern. I think these are quantized to uh, one eighth triplet, 100%. And then just dropping this one note to match the pattern and then that just loops. You can ignore the velocity information since the patches that we'll be making are not velocity sensitive. Let's open up a fresh preset. Initialize preset, and I'm just going to drag this over here because it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so just isolate the main track. Just starting out with a saw wave here, and because we're working on a Psytrance bass, the first thing we're going to want to do is throw it over through the filter. I'm going to make it a Moog Low 24, and we're going to be controlling the cutoff of that filter using envelope 2. Start out going down one octave here on oscillator A. I'm gonna crank our level and turn down random phase and set our phase all the way to the left. Because of the random phase, now all the hits are starting on the same phase. Okay, let's find a different saw waveform. I liked DS, saw, and try for this. And I want to use bend plus or minus to change the harmonic content a little bit. Somewhere around there. Okay, let's get started on this uh, envelope. Two. So the envelope number two is going to be controlling our filter cutoff, and envelope number one, uh, as always in Serum, controls the amplifier. So this is just controlling our overall level, and this is controlling the cutoff of our filter. So I'm just going to uh, loop this for a minute and tweak these parameters until I like what I'm hearing. And actually before I do that, I'm going to throw on uh, this multiband compressor because I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to go through that anyway to get some of that click on the top end. So let me just set this up first. Something like that. Okay, now let's tweak our envelopes. All 
I'm just going to zoom in using this lock tool. Let's just zoom in. Okay, let's add some of that classic Psytrance downsampling. Uh, I'm also going to filter out some sub. Let's use a high 24. Now we can add some width. I'm going to add width using the delay plugin. And we'll just cut this feedback all the way down and do like a really fast slap back. Let's say 164 and 132. Let me make that a triplet. Right now, that delay is really fat. You can hear all the low end here. So we're going to want to filter that out. And why not? Let's add a little hyper on there as well. just a very little bit. Okay, so now we just have to match the EQ to the reference track. All we have is this two band equalizer and uh, we can use the three bands in this multi-band compressor as well. So we'll use those to get as close as we can to the sound. All right. gives us that nice kind of throaty resonance. We're also going to do a pretty dramatically boosted high shelf um, up around 10k. Maybe add some more mids using the multiband. Add a little bit of level. And I wasn't really satisfied with the, the slope of this high pass filter for this sound. So I actually threw on Logic EQ as well, a little extra high pass at 59 hertz, but with a 36 decibel per octave slope or Q. Um, so when we take that out, it sounds like this. Uh, you can choose what you want to do with that. These are all just in the service of trying to match the tone. You don't really need to use the EQ and the filter. 
and these multiband EQs exactly this way if you're just looking for your own sound. But play around with all those parameters and you can dial in your own tone also by changing the bend plus minus here and uh, trying out different saw waveforms. So this is starting to sound pretty close, but because we're routing everything through our low pass filter, we're pinching down on these high frequencies and we're not getting this high frequency content during the sustain and release of our notes, which is exactly what we want for the bass sound in the center of our stereo field. But on the reference I'm hearing out to the sides, some of these high frequencies are lingering during the sustain and release of the notes. So I'm actually gonna initialize our second preset so I can add these highs back in on the sides. Let me show you what that sounds like by itself. So let's initialize our second preset. Okay, so for this patch, we're gonna use both oscillators A and B, pitched down one octave and panned hard left and right. We'll turn down the random phase on both and then use the phase knobs to push them out to the sides. Now instead of routing them through a low pass filter this time, we'll be routing them through a high pass filter. Both A and B. And I'm gonna enable key tracking this time. Just to thin out the sound a little bit more. And we're gonna be controlling our filter cutoff once again with envelope two. We want a Nice long attack to let these lows in before they pinch upwards. The slope here on our attack is gonna have a pretty profound effect on the sound. So if when you're making this patch, it doesn't come out sounding quite right, try playing around with this slope. Let's tighten this up a little bit using envelope one. Okay, let's brighten this up even more by high passing everything above about 500. And I wanna mix again into the multiband. I'm gonna set it in limit with a fast attack and fast release. We don't need any lows. Okay, so our sound is gonna consist primarily of this downsampling, as well as a kind of slapback delay with a long feedback.
And once again, we'll filter this delay so only the highs are coming through. Compensate for volume. And you'll see that our right channel got a lot louder than our left channel, so I'm just going to compensate for that using the level of our oscillators. Now let's push this patch back in the mix using some Dimension and Hyper. So let's listen to these two together. The main track and the side track. And that should be just about where we started. If you like what we're doing here at Unison, I hope you'll hit subscribe. And if you have any comments or feedback or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. One lucky commenter and or subscriber will receive a free Unison sound pack. And if you're interested in checking out more Unison Psytrance sounds, we will link to those also in the description below. This has been Peter with Unison, and the track is Vinnie Vici's remix to Highlight Tribes. Free Tibet.